Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How to create a URL to invoke the coach associated with a task using REST API. Hello, my name is Sadhu Arispe. I work with the Business Automation Workflow Support Team. Today, I will be discussing how to make a user interface such as a client-side human service available from a URL using REST API. We will use an out-of-the-box sample named Hiring Sample Advanced and the REST API Tester Tool to demonstrate the functionality. We will start by looking at the Hiring Sample Advanced sample and we'll click on the first task to see that it's implemented by a Create Position Request Client-Side Human Service. We will use this user interface and once started, make it available from a URL. So quickly clicking into this client side human service and then on the overview tab, we can see in the use as dropdown that available from URL is actually an available option here. And this does in fact work. However, only one option is, is available here and can be selected at one time. And most of the times, the developer wants to choose another option, such as service contained in the process. This allows them to be able to run it as a regular task. So we're going to leave this alone, and we're going to go back to the main BPD, where we can run an instance of this model and launch the inspector tool automatically for us. So we click on Run, and here we can see the instance ID for for one process instance is number eight. So let's go to the REST API tool. And using the REST API tool, it's basically a tool to help us construct the proper REST API call to create the URL. So first, um, to find the correct call, we want to expand the business automation and workflow REST API. Then the task API, I'll, we'll, we'll scroll down until we find task client settings. In this call, we can see we only really need the task ID of whatever task we're trying to create the URL for. And as we saw before in the inspector tool, we see the task ID on the right hand side of the detail section as instance ID. And in this case, it's eight. So let's go ahead and enter that in the REST API. Since that's all we need, we finally just need to execute the call. The first line is what the typical REST API call would look like. So if you were to construct it yourself, this is how the call would look like. And outside of the REST API tool, if we could just use this as a REST API, we could see the results fairly similar to what is shown here in the REST API tool. So let's just uh, concentrate on this part. This is the actual resulting URL where the running service is available. So let's copy it and paste it into another tab here. And once loaded, we can see that you can actually work from um, work this task from this URL that was created on the fly. If we go back to the REST API call, where we just in, uh, put it into a, a web browser, we can see the same URL is actually given to us here. So it's a little bit of a different format, um, but it basically gives you the same results. Uh, this concludes today's demo on making a UI available from a URL. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.